everyone. The Confederation of ATM Industry held its first annual conference on 26 April 2016 at Mumbai. Present at the event were representatives from ATM manufacturers, white label ATM operators, ATM security and solutions companies, and more. The chief guest of the event was Dr. Deepali Joshi, who is the executive director of RBI. Also present at the event was Mr. Manoj Nair, CEO Securance, a market leading company in the field of ATM security. We interacted with him about the technologies being used in modern day ATMs and let's hear what he said. Hi, Mr. Manoj. Hi. Uh, since uh, we are here for the CACME uh, uh, conference and uh, Basically, I would like to uh, say ask you a few things about the latest uh, uh, innovations we are seeing from ATMs and uh, the ATM manufacturers and everything. Because we as users, especially my generation, we take ATMs as something we take for granted. I mean, I need money, I will go to my nearest ATM, I'll swipe my card, I'll have some money in my hand. Uh, we generally don't pay attention that much to what exactly are the, uh, the, uh, the security details or the transactional details that are uh, going on in the ATM. Uh, yes, we know about cameras or the security guards, but from an industry perspective, I want to know as in what are the latest security innovations that we are seeing in, in terms of ATMs. Okay, see, uh, you understand that ATM, what do you call it as you take it for granted? But that's the place where money is kept, right? Definitely. So it becomes an area which is uh, with high risk. Definitely. And uh, we, it's a learning. It's been a learning over time, and that's how we have innovated and brought in new things. So there, even about 10, 15 years back, there used to be third generation alarm system, you know, which uh, would be connected with sensors to the ATM, so that nobody tries to uh, grab the ATM and go away, or try to cut the ATM to pull out the money from the ATM. And of course there were standalone cameras. Now, uh, people who try to get into an ATM, to break into an ATM, are not normal people. So they, they, are, they are professional thieves, if I have to put it that way. Now they know that how these systems work. So let's say for example, uh, uh, somebody is trying to steal at the ATM. Yes, the third generation system sends a, an SMS to the bank, somebody in the bank. And typically the time between which these kind of burglaries happen is uh, 1 to 4 a.m. Because that's the time in the night where everything is silent and people can come and do this. Now at that point in time, if I se send you an SMS mm -hmm. saying that somebody is trying to rob an ATM, what are you going to do? Nothing about it. So we looked at it over time and we realized that we need to move from this third generation and bring in some kind of a security uh, that, that can be managed to a great extent, which will at least help us deter, if not stop entirely, but at least help us deter. So, and you had guards. Now, guards are again an expensive affair for the banks. Mm -hmm. As you said, you go to the ATM just to withdraw money. Mm -hmm. But guards have to be put in three shifts, and that's a cost. And again, they are not reliable. You don't give an AK-47 to a guard and say, stand near the ATM. So, <coughs> it's highly unreliable. It's pretty expensive. So, we thought of creating a solution which which can eliminate this guard situation. And then we came up with this fifth generation alarm system. Now, fifth generation alarm system works more or less the way the third generation alarm system works, which means it has all the sensors, it has, it is connected to cameras, everything. But uh, it is integrated. So now my intrusion alarm system is not a separate isolated box. My cameras are not separate. So it's all integrated into one system. And uh, this is connected back into a monitoring station. Mm -hmm. Now we monitor all these ATMs 24 bar 7. So if there is any form of alert, if there is uh, somebody tries to tamper, uh, you know, typically they spray on the camera, the camera so lights, that you yeah. don't see. So we have systems where we can still go back and see when they started it. So mm -hmm. we know exactly who's spraying the camera. Mm -hmm. And this fifth generation alarm system comes with a powerful video verification and two-way audio. So today if I have about 15,000 sites which I'm monitoring from my central log, any ATM uh, theft activity or any unauthorized entry that happens inside the ATM, mm -hmm. my uh, monitoring agent can actually see the person and he can talk to them. But during this midnight time, the alert based what happens is there's a motion sensor 
So minute anybody comes in, mm-hmm. the motion sensor triggers and a video pops up on my uh, monitoring agent's screen and he can see. So it could be a customer, mm-hmm. which of course he lets go if the customer does a transaction, he closes the call. But if he sees somebody like this, so he will say, Arey, uh, helmet pen ke kyun aaya, helmet nikalo. Mm-hmm. Uh, gas cutter kyun leke aaya. So when it's visual, right? So when I'm, the minute I tell you, which means mm-hmm. I've recognized you, mm-hmm. 99% of these professional mm-hmm. uh, robbers, mm-hmm. they will run out because mm-hmm. they know that I've, they will not even look at the camera. Mm-hmm. So they know I'm watching. Mm-hmm. Of course, they'll be scared. They'll be scared. Mm-hmm. There could be some mm-hmm. who still think that they can do whatever they want mm-hmm. and they still continue. Mm-hmm. So and in, at that point in time, we uh, either bring in a QRT service, which means we have somebody who rushes to that site Mm. or else the other option which we do is we call up the police find out who's the beat and give them the information so that they can reach their units Mm. so So, sir uh, since you were speaking about the equipment and uh, the exact uh, varying implementations which you will have or already have i read somewhere about something called a vpn uh, wireless Mm. keypad Mm. which you have implemented Yes. So will you be able to tell me something more about that? As in uh, how exactly does that work? It's actually, uh, it's not a wireless keypad. It is basically a VPN MPLS connectivity. It's a wireless uh, virtual private network. Okay. So what we mean by that is, uh, typically when you try want to connect to something, you would go to the internet way, right? So you log on to the internet, log in somewhere, try to connect to something. We use a secure VPN, which means let's say a Reliance or let's say a Tata's or Airtel, I have the last mile sitting in my office, which means I have pipes, uh, their pipes coming into my office. And from there, each of these locations that I do surveillance for has a VPN based, which is a SIM based connectivity, which is on a virtual network. So when I say virtual network, which means it, it does not fluctuate. So if there are too many people using a bandwidth, your bandwidth can come down. But here my bandwidth is constant because it is only a private network for securance and the customer. So nobody can access okay. and only people sitting in my monitoring station can access those Access sites. that. Okay. Uh, so sir, uh, we have seen in the recent years, in the recent 5 years, 10 years, how mobile has integrated in you know, each and every aspect of uh, how we lead our daily life from the way we you know book cabs to to even a, a, a lot of our bank transactions so so do you see the mobile as a tool for you know maybe increasing security at even at atms in some way yeah absolutely so at this point in time we haven't really offered our customer uh, a mobile app to or a dashboard on mobile to monitor this but we have given them uh, portals which means on the internet they can view their uh, sites, they can see the health of their site, everything that I do. So we've been very transparent in that. And uh, so we show the customer what is the health of his sites, what is the current situation. Very soon we will move that onto the cell phones as well. So as a uh, chief security officer of a bank, I don't need to talk to 50 of my zonal managers or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can sit on my, uh, I mean, I can look at my mobile and I know exactly what is working where. How, what is the situation of security? Yeah. There was this one bank in uh, Pune, I would not like to name the bank, but they had this ATM and uh, there was a robbery attempt uh, which was tried by a group of people there. They were armed, they came in. We did an active deterrence. Uh, we called out to them. and So they were very smart. So they knew exactly how the systems work. They first came, they sprayed on the camera. So we got a camera masking alert. But uh, what they did not know is we had some hidden camera also Mm. uh, through which we were viewing them. And then we did a uh, video verification, two-way audio, and they understood. But uh, they, in fact, tried to break into the back room, which means they knew that there is a panel sitting inside. Mm. If they switch off the panel, remove the battery. So there are a couple of things which they knew how the system completely works. Because we always keep multiple areas so that, you know, a person who has a one track mind on how to switch over system will not know there are various other ways we can still run it. Mm -hmm. And then they came in, they tried to do the damage to the ATM. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what we did is uh, we called up the local police authority there. So we kind of created a database across all the cities in India where we call up their local control center. And we take, uh, took the contact of the beat marshal there. Mm. We spoke to the beat marshal. And, uh, and by then, out of this three, two had moved out because okay. they got a little worried. And the third guy also came out, stood there for some time. We were blowing the siren. So they, they got a little scared, they came out. Then uh, we switched off the siren. Uh, but we knew they are still there. And then uh, again, after some time, they again came back inside. So we again started blowing the siren. So they cut the siren wire first. Okay. So they were pretty professional. Yeah. And then uh, they were trying to bang the ATM, open the chest door. In the meanwhile, the beat was arriving. And um, somehow it struck them that, you know, we would have done something. So they just started moving out. They just moved out. They started walking, and we cannot see beyond the point once yeah, they move out. Yeah. We cannot see. But what we did is we actually yeah. we already had their pictures. Yeah. So we took the pictures of the three, and we did a WhatsApp, sent it to the Pete Marshall who was going there. And uh, they were walking like normal people on the road, so that nobody recognizes them. And the Pete Marshall saw the picture. He realized it's them. Caught them. Brought them back to the ATM spoke to us on the two-way audio and said these are the three guys right and we confirmed and then they caught okay. so that was one uh, and that happens quite a lot okay. but that was one interesting thing where you know they thought we will uh, they knew that they were getting monitored still they tried to do something they went out came back then started moving yeah. out and then we got them so that is something that struck my mind as soon as you said it is definitely really interesting to know that because uh, we as users, we don't really know how much security has been implemented. So, I mean, it sort of reassures me and, and I'm quite sure our viewers as well to know that, you know, our, our ATMs are so secure already. So, so on that note, I would like to ask you if you have something to say to our viewers. Um, I would just like to tell viewers that we as securans are here to protect assets and information. We'll keep doing that uh, time and again as much as we can do that. That's, that's all the points. So it was really nice speaking to you. Same here. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks. That was Mr. Manoj Nair from Securance explaining the technology that goes into modern day ATMs. Stay tuned for more updates like this.